my beautiful nieces, divine feminine, and my handsome nephews that's in here, divine masculine. Welcome back to the karmic circus, where we expose all, all, all of these karmic -y ass clowns. Put that in the comments. We expose these karmic -y ass clowns. Put in the comments, yeah, auntie be over there. She be exposing these fools. Because, see, I'm that auntie that's going to tell you the truth. Because the truth tells me. I'm that auntie that's going to tell you the truth, even if it makes you mad. Yeah, I'm that auntie that you never had. I'm that auntie that's going to tell you shit that's going to scare you for, to, for you to wake the fuck up. Yeah, I'm that auntie. Yeah, that auntie that you never had. Okay? Now, Divine Feminine. I got a channel message. And if you want to, I guess I call it a channel message. I heard this in my spirit. It was something that my mother used to say. It was an old slogan that she used to say. And that slogan was, they think they shitting in tall cotton. Now, the first time my mama said this, yeah, they think they shitting in tall cotton. I was like, what that mean, mama? What, what it mean, mama? She said, Jackie. Shitting in tall cotton. My mama from the south, from Louisiana. Yeah, my ancestors are from New Orleans. Okay. My mom would say, when a person is shitting in tall cotton, just think about somebody shitting in tall cotton. Just think about it. A cotton field. Okay. Now. <laughs> This is somebody who's doing some shit that they think they're getting away with. Like if you are in a cotton field and and these 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 cotton stalks, as she say, are taller than you. You right there, you can you can take that cotton and wipe your ass with that cotton, and nobody gonna see you. <laughs> somebody is is shitting in tall cotton. Okay, that means that somebody is 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 trying to get away with something. They think nobody is 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 can see them. See the cotton stalks; they grow tall from from what I say, from what my mom says. People hide shit in them cotton stalks. So we're gonna just find out. We're gonna tap in on this energy and see. What are what is somebody hiding? Somebody is shitting in tall cotton. Okay, the line feminine. <coughs> Whoever they are, as I pick the deck up, this person, they they're going through some sort of crisis that nobody knows about. Somebody is going through a personal, painful ending when it comes to a relationship. With this Ten of Cups out here, which represents divine love, harmony, a blissful relationship. There's values in this relationship. Um, there is a... a, a a beautiful connection. So tell me about this energy that's shitting in tall cotton. And let's find out what this what they shitting in tall cotton about. Whoever this person is, they don't have a thirst for knowledge. Whoever this energy is, they shitting in tall cotton, trying to keep somebody from walking away. This person is secretly trying to you know, they don't want to change. For some of you, this could be a, a, a king of swords energy. 
Now, whoever the, the King of Swords, you know, it represents mental clarity, intellectual truth, and power. Okay, so this could be, you could be dealing with the air sign who thinks they shitting in tall cotton, thinking they getting away with some shit. You may have the truth. You could be the king of swords, divine feminine, or the person you're dealing with could be the king of swords. Here's the baby mama energy, the empress out here. Oh, okay. So your masculine, he thinks he's shitting in tall cotton because he's still giving and receiving to his baby mama. With life, the, the, the empress represents life death and rebirth this masculine thinks he's shitting in tall cotton because the relationship could have been over between him and his baby mama or you could be that baby mama and he could be you know trying to give and receive but I feel like he, he thinks he's shitting in tall cotton because he's still giving to his baby mama and he's receiving from his baby mama they still fuck it okay but what comes along with this fucking is a lot of courage and conflict and sorrow and misfortune. And he got the he got the mental clarity about this thing. That him giving and receiving this, this could be oral sex. He could be, he still could be licking on his baby mama and she could be sucking on him. And this is why he think he's shitting in tall cotton. But that's, that shit gonna stink. And if he's shitting and wiping his ass with the cotton, he leaving some spots because the, the, the cotton that grows on them trees, uh, it, it, it ain't go, it ain't, I mean, it may, but he, if he's shitting in that cotton and it's, it's hot out there, <laughs> he got some dry shit on his ass, okay? Some of you, your masculine may be, he may be bisexual. His baby mama, hell, she may be, she may, she may know he's bisexual. And she could wear a strap on for him. Hey, that's not for everybody, but it's for somebody. Somebody baby mama uses a strap on because she knows that her masculine is bisexual. This could be what's being hidden in the, in the, in the shitty ass cotton. It's a masculine, it's a masculine, and he could, this could be somebody why he keep going back and forth to her, because she's fucking him in the ass, which is nothing wrong with that, if he likes that, I feel like it'd be better for a masculine, um, if he like, you know, he want his prostate stroked, gets, gives him the biggest, you know, orgasm, gives him a big orgasm, he may like that feeling, but he don't want a man to do it. He may want his baby mama to do it. And his baby mama, you could be the baby mama. For some of you divine feminists, you may put on a strap on for your masculine. He ain't going to another man. Now, take it where it resonates. This is the energy I'm pulling off of these three cards. Somebody is giving and receiving. And I feel like it's sexual. And somebody got the mental clarity, but somebody is also thinking they shitting in tall cotton. Now, divine feminine, you, you could be the empress, or you could be just his mate. Maybe you know that his baby mama fucking him in the ass. I don't know. Maybe you know you could be the ace of the king of swords with the truth, with the mental clarity that this person is still giving. He could be given sexually and monetarily and or at the same time. He could be hell. He could be prostituting himself to his baby mama, having his baby mama to fuck him in the ass. He give her some money with the six of pentacles out here. He's sharing. He's either sharing that dick with her, sharing money with her, or sharing that ass with her. He's sharing. Okay? With the six of pentacles being the, the heart and the energy. And it's his baby mama out here. Now, you could be the empress, divine feminine. You could represent femininity, beauty, and abundance, and a pregnancy. Or this could be his his child's mama if you don't have kids with him. But he think he's shitting in tall cotton. Okay. Tell me more about this masculine. Good karma. 
destiny. The wheel of fortune is all about good luck. Reaping what you sow in a good way. Good karma. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Whoever this, this King of Swords is, he he he's on the dark side of wealth. He makes his money dark. So he, you know, he could this this baby mama could be giving him money. He go and fuck around with her and he gets money out of her. Or the roles can't be reversed. He gives her money to give him pussy. Take it where it resonates. But the cold thing is, you know, he he could he could have such a fetish that he could be losing money from her. He's at a, a point right now that he's having some financial failures. He's he's losing some things. And for some of you, this this baby mama, she knows how to manipulate this person. And she has the energy where she abuses her authority with him by being his child's mother. Like I said, the inference represents life, death, and rebirth. So she knows how to suck the life out of this masculine and bring it back to him. Using sex. And he's paying her and he's he's losing money. Now, the, the dark side of the wealth with this ten of pentacles in reverse, this tells me that this is this is the dark side of wealth. He's he's it's some sort of way he him and his baby mama gets money. They probably both prostitutes. They probably both, you know, um, into that type of shit. What is the financial failure? The chariot. For some of you, this masculine, he may be losing money or financial failure and have to go to this baby mama. And when he go to her, he feels, you know, successful. All he got to do is give her some dick and she give him some money. Or the bros can't be burst. All she do to him is give him some pussy and he give her some money. Some sort of secrets coming out with the moon out here. this divine feminine but with the moon in reverse the, the moon it represents not having all the answers to a situation maybe you need to pay attention to your dreams use your intuition this reading can be giving you some sort of clarification somebody could be a part of the occult there's some deception out here divine feminine you may know this that your person is going back to their baby mama for money She's, he's fucking her for money or something. Or divine masculine, you may know that your baby mama is going fucking with another masculine. Take it where it resonates. It's different for everybody. But somebody is in the Ace of Swords, the King of Swords energy, where they have the mental clarity. They know that somebody is dealing with their baby mama or their baby daddy, getting money from them, giving them sex. Eight of Pentacles. Somebody is working hard to improve their skills. And, and they're they're no longer, this could be you, Divine Feminine. You could have started working on something that brings you money. You know, you're you're successful, you're determined, and you took action when it came to it. And if you was waiting around on this masculine while he dealing with this baby mama drama, you ain't no more. Okay. You, you have the mental clarity about the situation. This masculine, he has the mental clarity. You could have found out that this person is a part of the occult. 
or your person could have found out this karmic is a part of the occult. And we have the Ten of Cups here. That's divine love, harmony, a blissful relationship, a divine connection, the devil in reverse. So this masculine again, this is this is saying he's detaching from this energy. So this is this masculine. For some of you masculine, you got the mental clarity about your 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 baby mama, and you're detaching from her. For divine feminines, this is your masculine detaching from his baby mama. He could have been addicted to her sexually, and now he's detaching, and he's you know working on himself, or you could be working on yourself. Take it where it resonates. The roles can be reversed, okay? Why is this devil in reverse? She don't she don't want this breakup. Whoever the baby mama is, she don't want the breakup or divine feminine, this masculine don't want to break up with you. Somebody don't, possibly they don't want you to break up because you're a person who, you know, you improve yourself. You work on yourself. You're successful. You're intellectual and you speak the truth. And you're receiving good karma. Why is the Five of Pentacles in reverse? Clarify the five of pentacles reverse. Karma. Justice in reverse. She, whoever this baby mama is, she don't want to break up because she feel she feels it's it's unfair for this masculine to be with somebody else. Yeah. Why does she feel it's unfair? Why does this karmic feel it's unfair? All of these fell out and they fell upright. It's because of st stability. This is this um it's a low vibrational priestess here who's trying to negotiate with this masculine. But this masculine is over overcoming these obstacles. Whoever this baby mama is she was doing some sort of magic now i just uploaded a video talking about some blood magic so you may want to check that video out i'll put it at the end of this video in one of the little boxes but somebody is doing some she's doing some sort of magic yeah she's possessed possessive over this mask and she's stingy Whoever this baby mama is, it's like she negotiates a lot with this masculine. It's like I feel that she's somebody who if if he needs anything from her, she either will make him, you know, um give get give her money or the roles can be reversed. It's the energy out here. You take it where it fits with you. But this is a dark priestess, a high priestess in reverse. And it's the baby mama out here. This masculine is with the magician out here. The magician is a, a master manifester. Someone who knows how to tap into their, you know, into their potential, their full potential. And they have all the resources and energy that they need to make their dreams come true. And this is this is why this karmic feminine, whoever she is, don't want this masculine to leave. And this masculine now he's accepting his inner calling. He got mental clarity, and he's being reborn. He don't have no self doubt. He don't criticize himself. He's charming and graceful, but he was juggling 
is baby mama with the divine feminine. So divine feminine, you could be the empress and whoever this high priest is in reverse is this baby mama. Or you could be the baby mama and he may not have no kids with this person. She could be a dark energy. So take it, you know, uh, you flip the roles as they go with your energy. But somebody is getting karma, though. And the karma is for somebody. Somebody is, is losing money because they were possessed of money. This could be the karmic energy, the third party. And when I said the divine feminine, his baby mama, if you're the baby mama and you're not the one who's, you know, sexually pleasing his masculine, like giving it to him in the butt, it's this dark feminine who's doing it. Just got a confirmation on my phone. It's the dark feminine. It's not you, divine feminine. Some of you may, you know, you may, you may know that your masculine may be bisexual, like I said, and you may go on and give it to him in the butt. You may have a strap on for him. For some of you, if it's not you, somebody straps on for this masculine. Okay. He liked the feeling, but he don't want to be gay. He don't want it, you know, he don't want to be looked at as gay. He like getting it in the butt, but he like women. He like the feeling. So just because a masculine likes getting it in the butt, that don't necessarily have to mean that he like men. Because even the books says that's when, when a, a masculine has an orgasm, a regular orgasm is a regular orgasm. But when they get their prostate gland stroke, that gives them the most powerful orgasm that they can possibly have. So this masculine knows that, and maybe his baby mama knows it, or maybe this karmic feminine, somebody knows it. But this masculine likes it. Okay. So I'm going to go to my junk pile. Hmm. No love and sex only. Yeah. Okay. You may feel divine feminine that the relationship between you and your masculine is no love and it's sex only or this could be how he's feeling about this high priestess in reverse he may some of you may be in a relationship and you he may like for you to do it to him in the butt he just may like the may may like just the sex only with you in the butt maybe he don't trust nobody else to do it see a lustful energy friends with benefits is is no love it's sex and lust only and they want to start over with you divine feminine he don't want no arguments arguments came in reverse He's apologizing to you. Because he listened to the wrong people. And you're beautiful, loving, charming. Is what they see. They have regrets and they stalk you. And they praying that you take them back, divine feminine. See, when you was with this masculine, they threw up to you. Because certain things, you know, they saying we're not on the same page. You may, you know, he may have been into the anal sex and, and you didn't want to do it. And he could have went to this dark feminine and she probably said, uh, I'll do it. You know, she could have did it or fucked him in the ass. He may like that. And he wants to apologize to you. It's coming out again. He's saying, baby, I apologize. You may have a baby with this mask. And whoever this energy is, she's a snake-haired beast. So this is Medusa energy. 
And Medusa, from what I understand, was a beautiful person. She was very beautiful. And if you looked at her, or if you, something about, about if you looked at her, she can turn you to stone. Somebody exposed themselves as being a Medusa. Because, yeah, she's Medusa and she's used to people chasing her because of her beauty. Somebody has something, something to do with some receipts. With the 10 out here, something is over. A home. Something about a home. Fake friends, and they're depressed. So yeah, this masculine, he's getting a lot of mental clarity about fake friends, his fake karmic, somebody who can be Hispanic, somebody could be sleeping in their car, they sleeping in their car because they were doing some sort of witchcraft, necromancy that's fucking with the dead, they could have did it in April, for some of you, like I said, it, it some things could have happened in springtime. Worms out here and worms represent death. Um, things coming to an end. Now since you done, done ended it, they miss your sexual energy. This person, they don't want to fight no more. But you done let their ass go. went in no contact with this person. Some of you, this could be a Pisces energy that you're dealing with. A Pisces divine masculine. Some of you, this is a karmic masculine. This person is sick, okay, and they're off balance and they're distorted. This karmic feminine that, that played them is copying you, divine feminine. She's a copycat. Okay. She tried to copy you, but she don't know any specific details about you. A warlock energy out here. Played manipulative games. See, if he played manipulative games with you, divine feminine, this karmic energy, he received that same energy back. And now he's stuck. Mm -hmm. Stuck. Bad luck is coming because somebody lost their job. This masculine could have lost their job. Divine feminine, you could have lost your job. But it's going back to them. They could have been doing some sort of witchcraft. And they don't realize that they self-sabotaged themselves. Because they were doing some start, some dark spiritual work against you. This person is going to confess this mm -hmm. because they've been keeping it to themselves that they've been doing witchcraft. Somebody been doing witchcraft on them. They did some witchcraft because they said that they can have you anytime they want to, Divine Feminine. Now they're sitting in darkness. And they had no victory when they told somebody that they can have you anytime they want. You done, you done set some boundaries. You done cut it off. And this person is being haunted by your, your ancestors. Mm -hmm. Your ancestors tearing that ass up. You said, not my monkey, not my circus. The snow out here, you could be treating this person real cold. Now, they, they could have been doing something with some food, trying to put, you know, um, some poison in your food or doing something with a cauldron. Somebody could have been flying on a plane from the military. Somebody could be um, riding, you know, taking a trip or something. Somebody could be the military. Some of you, they could have met this person on a plane, taking a trip, going, going to another city or state. They could have met this person. Now they crying. Some of you, this is a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. 
it has a dark spirit. Mm -hmm. Now you're avoiding this person and you're blocking this person because you possibly are aware that they were doing some sort of spell work or you're blocking them because you could have found out this person was sleeping with men and a dark evil witch. Somebody got a nose piercing. And they realized that they sabotaged the relationship between you and them. This could have happened in June. Yep, they was giving money to this karmic. That's where the giving and receiving. Mm -hmm. Y'all make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. Okay. Make sure you hit that notification bell. Because I'm not a false reader. <laughs> I'm not false. Yeah, I'm not a false reader. Auntie going to tell you the truth. I'm telling you. He has some church up in here. So Auntie got to tell you all about this spiritual war that's going on. Things that you're unaware of. And now that you be, you know that you're you're aware, this is making them, these karmic energies more and more angry. Because you're aware of their bullshit. Money. Oh my God. It's an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. That's doing some sort of shit, coming back to see if they spell work is working. And they, they ass is going to end up in spiritual jail doing this shit. So they, this already showing that they are in spiritual jail. Somebody is losing money. Somebody has lost the job. Somebody is homeless. Because they was trying to steal your energy. Mm -hmm. Something significant to a light bulb. Somebody may be changing a light bulb. Somebody may be getting a bright idea, a new idea. We have Aries energy out here that has a broken heart. It's Carmen Feminine is her heart is broken because she did some sort of moon magic and it didn't work. Yep. Some of you, this is your neighbor, maybe afraid and scared of you. You may be afraid and scared. Oh, of your neighbor's dog. Somebody is scared of their neighbor's dog. Somebody's karmic ex could be afraid of the neighbor's dog. They could be texting each other. Somebody is doing a lot of partying. Somebody is very popular. Release the third party because they've been exposed. Somebody was exposed. It could have been exposed that they was juggling you with the karmic. It could have been exposed that they was doing some sort of magic. It could be exposed that somebody is losing their money. Okay. Something, something, you know, whatever that they're trying to do, Divine Feminine, is not working. And they don't get it. That the magic or the witchcraft that they're doing is not working. And this person, they ghosted you because they had a lot of options out there. They try to put you under spiritual attacks, but it ain't working. Secretly, they trying to do, you know, spiritual attacks on you. And then it's not working, Divine Feminine. And whoever this dark high priestess is, she's a fucking narcissist. Wants to control people. And now this masculine, he haven't reached out to her. And if he was staying with her, he done moved out. He done left the situation. He working on himself. He may got a new job. Some of you may have got your, your new job, got your new job when they was doing some sort of spiritual attack to make you lose your job. Now you done got a better job. 
There's the energy of a secret baby out there too. Somebody could have been holding back from you because of a secret baby that they had. Manipulation. Somebody is, is being manipulated with a secret baby. Take it where it resonates, okay? But secretly, this person is not happy. This is why, see, they trying to manipulate this masculine with the baby. Because this person, they grew up poor. They were less fortunate. And it's like they doing some sort of man, moon magic and it ain't working. Because they got abandonment issues. So they use the child. Yeah. Somebody smokes Marlboro cigarettes. A banshee spirit. This person could... It could be mourning the loss of a child. They could have... She could have um, tried to get pregnant by this masculine. And this most high God uh, allowed a, a, a miscarriage. Because he didn't want her to be with him. She has the devil in her. Yeah. And when you needed this person, they wasn't there for you. Somebody got a black cat. Something could have happened on a Tuesday. Something that happened on Tuesday is something they can't come back from. But they loving on you. Because you're number one. Somebody smokes weed. Somebody is on Facebook can be significant. Somebody could be doing some rituals on Facebook or taking your pictures off of Facebook, trying to do some rituals with your Facebook. So you didn't block this person. And some people hate whoever this person is. They hate him. And they thought that they had you figured out, Divine Feminine. Some of you, if you was married to this person, the marriage is over or... Um, for some of you, your person could have been married to this person and the marriage is over. Somebody could feel like that, that you or your person owe them a favor just because they could have been married to them. This third party, it came out in reverse, it's over. And now this karmic energy is trying to strategize. She's even going as far as to do some sort of jar spell or freezer spell. But she's desperate. She wants, she's trying to love bomb this mask. Yeah. She could be a Taurus, or you could be a Taurus energy. DNA testing out here. Something significant to the part. The father is in reverse. This, she could have a child by this masculine, and he may took a DNA test and found out that he's not the father. You are not the father. Somebody wears a lace front wig. This masculine wants you back, Divine Feminine. Coming in for a long time, but, you know, a good time, but not a long time. If somebody, it's a motel energy out here. They could have did this to you. A false tarot reader. More and more blessings of abundance coming to you, Divine Feminine. And your energy has changed. Memories out here, you don't have no good memories of this person. You're not going back and forth with them no more. Because now you realize or you got the mental clarity that they targeted you. And somebody is talking. Okay? Something about a motel again. church in reverse so some of you this person they may go they may sit up in the church as soon as they get out of church they go into a motel i remember back in the day we used to say in los angeles it's a church on every corner it's a motel on every corner and it's a liquor store so what they'll do they'll go to the to the liquor store get drunk go to the motel and fuck all night and then the next morning they get up and go to church all in one block Okay, but when they're in church, they ain't really praising God. They they just, you know, this is fake people. And this masculine realized that the, gar the grass wasn't greener, it was fake. See, whoever this energy is, she portrays like she go to church. But she be at the fucking motel on Saturday nights and up at church on Sunday, hallelujah, shouting and all this shit. She be hurt. Okay, she go to church on Sunday because she didn't gave herself to somebody who don't give a fuck about her. And it hurts her. Mm -hmm. 
yeah, she did. See, she's she's saying, oh, I really fucked up. I shouldn't have laid down with her. But it's too late. You already did it. She's petty Betty, and she's jealous of a divine feminine. And then after she give herself to these people, these men, she feel, you know, that she that they betrayed her. Then she'll start accusing them, telling them that, telling people that they raped her, raped her. Wow, groomed here. She's getting the karma for this shit. Some of you, this could be an Asian. That you could have been in a long-term relationship with baby mama. Karmic baby mama. Wow. I ain't a saint of virgin. So again, like I said, this masculine, he likes getting it in the butt. And he may have been forced into a marriage with this karmic for money, but he's not happy. The letter R can be significant. Somebody's first, last, or middle name can start with the letter R. She's jealous of you, divine feminine. Yeah, baby mama drama. This, this most definitely, and it came out a few times. This is a baby mama drama. Drama. She's seeing shadows now for all the witchcraft that she done did. So she's in isolation. This masculine is on the down low. He went from a man to a monster dealing with this karma because she's a monster. She's stuck up. She's feeling defeated right now by you, Divine Feminine. And she's a snake with the number eight out there. Okay. She's in solitary confinement. She's It's like whoever she is or this masculine, she's a low vibrational energy and she's staying to herself. This person, you know, they she lied on you started spreading rumors on you, Divine Feminine. She could be an Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. And right about now, she's suffering from a loss. Because mm -hmm. this masculine is hoping that, that you come back to him. And you spoke some truth to him when it came about this karmic energy. It even has something to do with some child support. You could have said you paying child support, and that's not even your child. Now this masculine could be sick. Divine feminine. Some of you, your karmic, this could be your sister or this could be, this masculine could be saying somebody is his sister, claiming her as a sister, but she not really a sister. You could have found out and you could have broke up with her. Something about a wedding and a blabbermouth. Somebody talks a lot. A juggling act out here. Somebody's sister could have taught them some voodoo. And it's in reverse. <laughs> Intimate in reverse. Sister in reverse. Marriage is over in reverse. And showering them with gifts. So somebody's somebody's sister is involved with somebody. Okay. Somebody's sister is a karmic. She has some sort of addiction. She's, she's dark. Okay. She's the reason why some of these masculines is breaking up. They sister. With the fake love. She may not even be his biological sister. She may be somebody just say sis and bro. You know, try to do some magic and it's backfired on her. Mr. and Mrs. Somebody could be saying that they, you know, pretending like somebody is a sister and they really married to that person. Okay. Yep, caught with his mistress. Hmm. Yeah, some secrets came out. Somebody has a porn addiction. And they're jealous. And it's a lot of chaos and conflict when it comes to whoever this dark feminine is, or she it could be the dark feminine sister. Family is talking. And they're sick. Somebody's innocence was stolen. And they made a mistake. Mm -hmm. Something about some witches brew. They 
they have a nightmares now because they did something or they try to concoct some sort of shit. They have a nightmares. Fire sign energy. Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius who's, who's codependent on your person. They're running around. A lot of people is gossiping and talking about them. For some of you, this could be somebody's niece. They may want you to come through. They feel that you're powerful, divine, feminine. Fire sign again, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. They're not enchanting. Somebody is looking for a way out. But they don't want to forget the drama. Because there was some sort of sharp ending. It ain't no coming back. This masculine got all the mental clarity that he need. That whoever he was dealing with is selfish. And they can't fuck. Do an abortion out here. Abortion, it came in reverse. Maybe somebody could have told this masculine that they was getting an abortion and they did. Could have got pregnant by this masculine. Somebody's from the lesbian and gay community. They don't want nobody else but you, divine feminine. This person could have been talking about you behind your back, gossiping. It was talking about you behind your back, but people was gossiping about them, saying that they're narcissistic. Nobody want them sexually. Nobody want to have sex with them. So now this masculine is walking around with a red string tied around his wrist, a wish, a wish for a romantic night or a romantic relationship. He could be wearing this same thing to church. Whoever this is, this is a hole that sit up in church, and they got a red string wrapped around them. This is a fake church person. Okay. Somebody could ride a motorcycle. They could be homeless and ride a motorcycle. Somebody could have, this could be a child. Somebody could have a child with a hole in a different area code that they had a one night stand with. Now they stressed about it. Because they're dealing with a drama queen. Who has a furious energy. Something with secrets coming out. Um, the graveyard. Somebody was secretly doing some necromancy. Or dealing with graveyard dirt. Somebody could have introduced somebody into doing to ne you know, necromancy. And when they did it, some endings came quickly. Now this person is crying over you. This is a handsome young man. So he could have got with this dark feminine energy. This could be his baby mama. This could be an ex-girlfriend. You know, um, to do something towards you, divine feminine. Yeah. So they went to this person because they were determined to get you back after they left you out in the cold. So if this is somebody they went to, they tried to do some sort of spell work. Mm -hmm. And this person basically stole their money because they didn't know what the hell they was doing. That's why the magic came in the reverse. Yeah, they didn't know what they was doing. They was just paying money out to this person. This person was basically stealing from them money, stolen, thief, all of this. Yeah, and they stole their money and they ran off with their money. Fake reader. Something to do with sex. Lust in reverse and obsessed. Mm -hmm. A narcissist. DoorDash can be significant to somebody. Somebody's first, last, or middle name could start with the letter D. DC. Somebody could be from Washington, DC. Somebody could be in Washington, DC, staying in a hotel. Because they wasn't using their intuition. Mm -hmm. And they don't want to be a player no more. Because they see where I got it. Something significant about the letter G. First, middle, or last name. Greg. Gary. It bothers them that you don't care anymore. Mm -hmm. Something about the month of June. I mean July. With the cell phone. 
concerning the earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. This person, they don't wear designer clothes. This could be their ex-wife for some of you that's doing this. She may, you know, she's a nasty beast. She may wear designer clothes, but the masculine don't. Somebody could be from Haiti. Somebody could be in a cult. Water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Somebody was grown to love a male escort. Could have fell in love with somebody who they was, you know, just supposed to be a sex only, you know, money relationship. And they was doing some sort of witchcraft and spell work. And the secret came out. And they was exposed. Well, goddamn, yep. Yeah. Fake ass psychic energy. Yeah. Oral sex. Somebody is fighting demons now. Because they laid down with their karmic ex, and their karmic ex is a witch. Okay. She could your masculine could be paying this karmic's credit card bills. She may be acting real childish. Behind the breakup, her and the masculine is broke up now. She has nowhere to go. Something about drums, second chance. Somebody may play drums. Somebody may want a second chance. They had no pure intentions to the beautiful energy that divine feminine is in. Something about a bedroom. Yeah, so she was plotting and planning. So what is the outcome, Holy Spirit, when it comes to the divine feminine and the divine masculine? Whatever she did, she's, uh, some of you, this karmic energy is sleeping in her car for what she did to you. So what is the outcome for the divine feminine ones, the ones that's dealing with this energy? What is the outcome and the advice? Go off and do some soul searching with the hermit here. Self-respect. Think about everything, what's been going on with you. Get out in nature and heal yourself. Get out in the sunlight. Go hug a tree. Go walk outside with no shoes on in the grass. Yeah. So, Divine Feminine, if this reading resonated with you, I'm asking you to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel. And if you want to donate to my channel, the information to my Cash App and my PayPal is in the description below. Um, and if you would like a personal reading, the information is in the description box below. And if you would like to order a uh, spiritual protection package or a candle or a spiritual bath mix from me, all the information to that is in the description box below. And I do also have Karmic Circus t-shirts if you're interested. That information is in the description box below. Thank you for coming to my channel and I hope you enjoyed this message and I'll see you in the next reading.